hi there everyone. Welcome to another Trevor's Terrarium here at Geetopia Island. I'm Cardwell. I'm Kevin. And that's Trevor. Today, uh, we're returning to the combination of a fun deck of blue and green, but with a couple of new cards. But before we do, we go and remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us, and we love you very much for it, and the link will be down below. Today, we are playing Overgrowth. And for our champion, we are playing Ariana, Avengers of Argos. With this champion, at the start of the game, after Mulligans, you can add one Kalia Trusty Companion and or one Ariana's Amulet from the deck to your hand. So you already start off with two extra cards, which is pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. And with the Spirit, we are doing the Kugel Spirit of Otrus, or Otterus, how you want to say that. So you exhaust, pay two, target unit you control gains unblockable, which means Guardians can't be triggered. And then Soul Burst, target unit gains unblockable this turn. So if you need to kill him with two dudes, then you can do that for sure. Now with this, we have the first brand new card. Uh, it is from the, actually the new upcoming loot box that's coming out. It's a Forger of the Fallen Leaf. It's very powerful. It's a one drop, 1000 unit. So units you control power that is double or more than the original power cannot be targeted by opponents, spells, or abilities. So there's a lot of keywords, opponents, spells, and abilities. Yeah. There. And when you do that, you almost just, you can get there. Yeah. It's really hard. And then also, and more, whenever a unit is put into play under your control, you may pay X if you do pay, uh, put X plus 500 counters on that unit, which we already know just one level 500 does a lot of work for you. Yeah, this one drop essentially turns all your dudes into a bone scavenger that you don't have to remove cards from. Yeah, yeah. You just make sure you have enough uh, shards to cast it with. It's kind of gross because it turns all your one drops into big dudes that you're like, I don't care late game. Yeah, thanks. And we'll find, we'll tell you a little combination soon, real quick. Uh, next up is Kala, best friends forever, which is a one drop 500, and it's the little guy that you go get from the starting, starting game. Yep. And you can sacrifice this card, target unit you control gains immortal this turn, and you treat this card as Kala, a trusty companion, so that way you can go get it. Yeah, very powerful, very annoying. Now we have a classic skyship engineer. That's a one drop 1000. So exhaust, return this card to the owner's hand. And if you do, airship units cost one less to play this turn. We're just, we're definitely using it for the return. Next up is the Mist Shaper. It is two for a 2000 and it arrives. You search your deck for a unit that has the same name as another target unit you control and add it to your hand. Yeah. So you just go get another little dude and make it a big dude because that's what you get to do with the Forger. Sounds good. Uh, next one is Sky Tree Hawk. It's a 1000 two drop. When this card is returned from your hand from the field, you can discard this card, draw two cards. Pretty awesome. Yep. Next is Maiden of the Leviathan. She is two for a 1500. When this arrives, you may flip one of your towers face up, and then if you have two or more face up towers, you draw a card, which this card is insanity, because if they've killed two of your towers, you're just like, cool, get a cantrip. Yeah. Cantrip 1500, and in this deck, if with Forager, again, you're like, I'll pay for her. She's just big. She's just big, and I drew a card. She's a cantrip. Thank yeah. you. And another one of the new cards is a Nanatsu, Storm Surger Squire. We, he's pretty good. We've seen him in one of the brawls for sure. It's a three drop 2000 instant cast, instant cast unit, which is pretty awesome. Once per turn, expel an air unit and a water unit card from your discard zone, exhaust target unit, and if you do, recover one of your shards. Use this only while your opponent has three or more destroyed towers. So that last part's kind of slightly rough, but it's gonna happen late game anyway. And for you to be able to cast them before they attack, and tap the bigger dudes down and then go for it. Yeah, dude gets kind of nuts just because he's instacast is what makes him so strong. Oh yeah. Next up is Ariana, Hope of Argos. She is three for a 1500 brawler and she's got a rune trigger that you search your deck for an Eaton and put it into your hand. And this card's gonna be really crazy with the Forger because she's a brawler. So you're like, cool, I'll pay yeah. five and she becomes a 2500 and not care. And not care and just kill, and kill everything. I'm, I'm, I'm brawler, so I'll kill you this turn. Yep, done. Now, what you go get, of course, is Eden Righteous Outlaw. It's a 2500 or drop, or is it? <laughs> so discard this card from your hand, return target air unit you control with three or less to its owner's hand. So with the Skyhawk, you can draw two cards. And if you do, if this card is in your discard zone, when an air unit is returned to your hand from the field for a second time this turn, you can put that card, put this card into play exhausted. Expel it when it leaves the field. And I think we did this turn two real quick, like quick enough to have two 2500s on the field yeah and if there's multiples in your graveyard they can each trigger yeah, off of it yeah. which makes it so disgusting because you're like i get free 2500s and you can't deal with that thanks next up is ariana celestial imbued she is four for a four thousand and she's an omega unit so you place on one of your ariana units yep. 
Target attack and unblockable. Whenever this card attacks, recover up to two of your shards, and if you do, draw a card for each shard you recover this way. Expel this card until your next turn, your towers cannot be destroyed. So, this card is actually kind of busted if you get it out on an Ariana unit, because yeah. you just get to free untap your stone, your shards, which is so strong. Because you're like, cool, I'll have untap to just protect my dudes or do whatever I need to do. Yeah, the fact that this essentially can uh, just cost two, and for a target unblockable, it's yeah. ridiculous. Next one is Hana, the Princess of Mayu. It's a 5-drop 2500, and it arrives target... Uh, put target unit with to total, total cost two or less from your discard zone into play, and that just helps you with all your little dudes. Yeah, so your one drop that dies that everybody's going to kill because they don't want you to pump up your dudes, yeah. you just get it back. Just get it back. Why not? That's what you need. Uh, next up, we go to the the spells. We got the first one is an augment. It's the Ariana's amulet. It arrives. You draw a card. Sacrifice this card. All spirits lose all abilities until your next turn. So this is the card that you go get with the start of the game. So you go get this and you go get the Koala and you just get to have the ability to shut down spirits, which is pretty nice. All right, well, also works with that uh, one drop coming up is Phantasmal Guards. It's a one drop, but two illusion unit tokens into play with Guardian. And of course they have 500 and they can't attack. But the fact that you can pay one and then just pay one each more for those, they're a thousand now to board. Or board. however much you want to pay. Or however you want, you know, because it just says unit comes into play and those are units. So mm -hmm. you just pump them up. And to be, ha be able to just have like ginormous 3,000 blockers. Yeah, pretty awesome. Uh, next is Omega Magic Kazi. It is two for an insta cast spell. If you control two or less towers, this card costs zero. And then target unit cannot deal damage or attack this turn, draw that card. Yeah. This card's really strong just because you can play it for its cost if you have to, or you can just wait till you have two the towers and be like, hey, no. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Especially in game, you have to worry about fighting against this for mm -hmm. sure. Next one, of course, the other Omega Magic Mizu. It's a two drop instacast. You can choose one or both if you have two or less towers remaining, or two. Uh, draw one card, exhaust target unit, and then of course return target unit to its owner's hand if it was uh, if it's exhausted. And yes, just to reiterate, uh, it goes top down so you can tap a dude and bounce him. Yeah. And that's how that works. And the final card of the deck is Hurricane Shot. It is two for an instacast spell. As additional cost to play this card, return an air unit to from your field to your hand. Destroy target unit with cost four or less, and this is really strong because because it's insta cast, so it can save your dudes from a kill spell or whatever. Yeah, and it allows you in this deck with the forger to re pump a dude, so you can make you can bounce a little dude and then play it again to make it bigger. Exactly, and while killing a thing on yeah. their side. Now, of course, we'll go into the shards here. Uh, we have to have the spear ruby because it's amazing and it's a legendary. So you exhaust, flip your spear face down, destroy target unit. Yeah, seems good. Uh, the the special one we have, of course, is the blue cri uh, cryptic crystal. So when it comes into play, you look at the top two cards and you arrange them however you want and just put them back. And it's just really good to know what you're drawing for sure. And of course, the normal Argent shards. With that, that is the deck list. Uh, it will be the actual list will be down below. And hopefully, you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Island. Goodbye. Later. Also guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Uh, thank you, Dwayne Higgs. And thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.